welcome to this new section friends and here we are going to talk about high availability and disaster recovery solutions in db2 so let's get started now as i said that hadr uh, stands for high availability and disaster recovery and these two concepts helps us uh, to first keep our database uh, up and running for most of the time and that is taken care by the high availability feature and the disaster recovery helps us to make sure that our database has a copy uh, somewhere else so that in case of a disaster in case our database servers fail totally and we are not able to recover it so we have a replicated copy of our database in separate locations so here we can see that uh, there is this client who is connected to uh, a database server that is server 1 and he's able to uh, transact and make all the queries and uh, whatever you know clients do basically while connected to a database the client is able to perform all those transactions now this is a scenario where there is a high availability disaster recovery scenario and where we have a primary database server that is the uh, main server to which all the applications are currently connected to and then there is a standby database server that is this server 2 it can be in the same vicinity as that of the primary database server if you are configuring the whole environment for high availability because for high availability the primary and the standby servers should be close to each other and connected through LAN and while if it is a disaster recovery solution then the standby server can be in some other city altogether and can be connected to the primary database server through wide area network or WAN. So right now we have these primary and standby database servers and connected to each other via TCP IP connection and as and when the clients are executing the transactions on the server one the log files are getting uh, transferred from the primary to the secondary database or the standby database and these logs are replayed over here so that this standby always remains in sync with the primary. So the idea is to have both these uh, database servers have the same copy of the database so that in case of a failure the client can be rerouted to the second server which then becomes the primary database server and the one that has failed becomes the standby. Now this is known as the application takeover and we'll talk more about that in the upcoming lectures. And once this server becomes available again then the primary database server that is this one now can uh, resynchronize with the uh, standby server and things can get back to the server one again. Now how it works uh, I think you've got the understanding uh, but let's break it down into these points. So HADR is based on log replay. So the first thing we need to do is initialize the standby server with a backup copy of the primary database. So we do that by taking the backup of the primary database and then restoring that backup on the secondary or the standby database. Now once we do that, the next step is to configure and start the HADR on both the primary and the standby database servers. So we need to update some configuration parameters in the database configuration file of both the primary and the standby database server. And once we do that, then we issue a statement that starts the HADR process on the standby and the primary and then things can move ahead. So once the HADR starts on primary and standby, the primary keeps shipping transaction logs to standby via TCP IP. The standby continuously replays the log records to keep the standby database in sync with the primary database. In case of a failover, the standby takes over as a primary database server for all the current transactions and thereby allowing the applications to keep performing their work without getting affected much. Now what's replicated and what's not? Any operation that is logged on the primary database server will be replicated. Now these include but are not limited to the insert update delete statements that are performed on the primary database. And you know that insert update delete statements as well as create alter drop all of these statements are logged into the log files at the primary database server. So anything that is captured into the log files on the primary will be replicated to the standby and the standby will be able to replay those uh, transactions or those operations so that uh, it can keep the standby database in sync with the primary database. Anything that is not logged are not replicated and these are for example, the database configuration parameters, uh, not logged initially tables when you're talking about uh, temporary tables, not logged large objects, 
So in totality, you just can understand that whatever is captured into the log file will be replicated. So thank you guys. Let's move on to the next lecture and see what we have for you.